is the media chat room where the celebrity headlines are talking. Y'all, so let's go ahead and talk about all these celebrities who are finally turning their backs on Diddy. After this video of Diddy physically assaulting Cassie in 2016, celebrities have started to draw a line in the sand, officially distancing themselves from Diddy. Now, if you watched one of my last previously uploaded videos, you will know one of the people that have officially distanced themselves from Diddy is LeBron James. He's gone on to Instagram and unfollowed Diddy, which lets us know publicly where he stands. So I think that we can all agree that there will be no more Diddy parties for LeBron, even though he was caught saying there ain't no party like a Diddy party. Everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. But for now, we gonna act like we ain't hit it. Now, another person who has drawn a line in the sand is Diddy's spiritual advisor, Bishop T.D. Jake. Now, he took to the pulpit on Sunday to declare a stance against domestic violence. Although he said he was specifically mentioning it and praying for it because someone asked him to in the comments on social media. But because we know business, we know better, Chad. It wasn't but a couple of months ago when T.D. Jakes was trending on all social media platforms because he was being associated as a power bottom due to his affiliation with Diddy and attending Diddy parties. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing? But also remember, in Little Rod's lawsuit against Diddy, Little Rod mentioned that Diddy was leveraging his relationship with T.D. Jakes to change the narrative since Cassie and others had filed lawsuits claiming actual assault against him. So Bishop T.D. Jakes taking the pulpit, standing against predators, was his formal, direct, yet indirect way of letting Diddy know, bro, you on your own this time around. So go find another bishop, a man of the cloth, to help you revive your image. So y'all, let's go ahead and get into the video of Bishop T.D. Jakes distancing himself from Diddy. But first, I'm gonna need you to like and share this video with everyone that you know. Then subscribe to the channel so that you can become an official Chatty Patty lover. And I promise you're gonna love it here. And last but not least, turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video or go live. Came in over uh, social media that I happened to just, happened just to see as I was coming to church. And the woman said to me, would you please pray for women? who are living in danger in their own house. And there was something about the way she said it, and I know she's watching right now. Uh, th there was something about the way she said it. It was a cry for help. And I realized something when I read what she said as a father and as a husband and as a son and a mama's boy at that. When I saw the images that have been floating all over the news all week, it became difficult to watch. The atrocious, degrading, demeaning, debauchery. I, I, I know who it was, but I saw my daughters. As a man, I saw my, my daughters. And it made me angry. It made me angry. And I thought if, if it affected me like that as a man, how much more is that, that image a trigger for women who have been through that, who are currently going through that, who are in the middle of that, who feel trapped in situations where you are being physically and emotionally and verbally abused and it is possible to feel trapped and have a key to the door and still feel trapped in a situation you can't get out of but let me tell you something before we pray if and it's not always the man both for the victims and the perpetrator there's something you need to understand if you got a rage you can't control, if you have an emotional problem, a mental health issue where you're bipolar and your kids get scared when they hear your car coming home, you got to get some help, dude. You got to you gotta come out of denial and get some help. Now, Chatty Patties, it's time to hop in those comments. What do you think about this message that was released from TDJ? Do you think it was a message for him to distance himself from Diddy? Or do you believe he's actually trying to bring more attention and awareness to domestic violence? Definitely let me know all your thoughts and opinions. Because I'm getting my popcorn ready so I can park in those comments.
And before you go, make sure that you like and share this video with everyone that you know. Then subscribe to the channel so that you can become an official Chatty Patty lover. And I promise you're going to love it here. And last but not least, turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video or go live. Now, Chatty Patty, you already know how I do it. First, I'm heading to the comments to see what you had to say. Then it's back to scrubbing the headline so that I could bring you another video. So that's going to be all for now. And until next time, bye-bye.